Good morning. We'll have a time of giving now, and I ask the ushers to please come forward. It's become something of a holiday tradition. The showing of the movie, It's a Wonderful Life. Now, if I probably ask how many have seen it, probably most of you have. I watched the end portion of it last night, and something stood out to me more than ever. The main character, George Bailey, went into an almost suicidal depression, thinking he had failed in life and maybe should never have been born. You probably know the story well. His savings and loan was being audited and came up $8,000 short through no fault of his own. He had no money to make up the shortage. The angel Clarence showed George what his community would be like if George had never been born, and it was a very dark place. When George was given a second chance at life, he found out how much he had made a difference in his community. Back home with his family, the local police were waiting to arrest him. But the people of Bedford Falls, whom he had helped through his savings and loan, came to his rescue. With enthusiasm, love, cheerful, almost reckless abandon, they poured out their money on the table to make up the shortage. What does this tell us about giving? We owe so much to the one who gave his very life for us, not only homes and the comforts of life, but much more in the eternity to come, shall we pray. Heavenly Father, help us to realize that you are the one that has given us more than we can imagine. You have given us your son, you have given him as a sacrifice for our sins, and he has promised us life with him in eternity because of his sacrifice. Help us as we give this morning to do it with cheer and almost reckless abandon. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> 